welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I feel like I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul in forever. But that is because I haven't. I'm doing a little self-care Saturday. I'm kid free for the day. Um, they're with their dad. I've been to the Dollar Tree a couple times during this whole COVID quarantine thing. Um, because in my town, like I used to, I cannot find toilet paper at Meyer or at Walmart. Dollar Tree has always had it. So like if I go to the grocery store and they don't have it, I will stop at Dollar Tree and get it. Dollar Tree also still has cleaning supplies, like disinfectants, like our grocery stores have been shorter on those. Also, tissues, paper, towel, like I still always find them there. And we, I had to go there before Jax's birthday and I ended up getting his birthday card. Mm, what else did I get? Oh, like a happy birthday banner that hung up behind his little high chair. We had just like a birthday here with just us. I did like a Facebook Live so I could tune in and watch him with this cake. So it was his first birthday. So I have been there a couple times. I got a few things. But this time I was there. Like I said, I went yesterday to uh, Walmart Meyer. No luck on toilet paper. Um, what, what else did I get that I couldn't find there? I don't remember. I'll probably remember as I'm going through the bag. The toilet paper is already in the bathroom. So I did go there for a purpose. Comment down below, like, are you having a hard time still trying to find toilet paper? Like, why is it still... Everyone that stocked up, like, a month ago, they bought enough that they should still have some. Like, I didn't stock up, and I thought it was crazy that everybody was buying it out. But now I think I should have stocked up because I'm getting, like, little four packs. So anyway, I was there for a purpose and while I was there, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make it worthwhile. I'm gonna get anything that I need now because who knows when I'll be back out. They announced that Adri is done with school like here in Ohio. I don't know if it's everywhere because I haven't been following this up. It's just too overwhelming. But here in Ohio, school is done for this school year, which made me and Adri both cry. I mean, she's gonna miss her. She's excited to not get up in the morning and so am I. I mean, I'm up shortly after the time we would get up anyway, but um, she's really missing her friends. Like, I couldn't even imagine going through what these kids are going through nowadays. Doing homework at home, having their mom teach them while there's brothers and sisters running around and short on time. And just, I feel bad for kids right now. So anyways, I don't know what I'll be on about again. <laughs> so I just grabbed, let's see. <laughs> I just grabbed whatever whatever hold on a second don't go anywhere i'm just coming right here so this is my this is my dollar tree receipt from yesterday so but i just got paid from youtube on the 21st you guys know my youtube money i've said a, a million times my youtube money goes back into things that I either eat for videos or what the heck my computer is like flashed or I buy things, treat myself, and then haul them. Like that's my that's my extra money <laughs> for myself. And I spent my total my subtotal was eighty one seventy five. So with that being said, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a seat, and yeah, I don't even know where I'm gonna put this stuff as I go through it. I will tell you that yesterday, like with everything going on and just being so stressed out and not really getting to do anything on my own because it's been like two months since I've had time to myself, I am having a blast. Yesterday, just buying random things that I wanted. Do I need them? No. Is it okay to treat yourself with things that you want but don't need? Yes. Like everybody, there's you got to give a little give and take. And today, just doing the self-care, I'm like, I'm painting my nails. I'm just... I needed this. I needed to feel the kind of halfway normal, if you want to say. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going to stop rambling. I know what I'm trying to say. It just never comes out right. So anyways, the first things in here, I don't know why I have you so far away. I have my little tray table right here. I've been decluttering, organizing, cleaning, spring cleaning this whole house. Whoa, sorry. About, dropped you guys. If you watch my channel, you already know that. Look, I got my list over here. I just did a Nadine West unboxing. I was measuring my fridge because I'm doing like a fridge declutter and need to get um, 
I'm ordering labels for them for certain things in there. So I kind of have everything out everywhere. All right, let me just move this stuff. Okay, anyways, I saw on somebody's video, they did this like inside their cupboards. I'm like, wow, that is like the perfect idea. So I picked up these little removable hooks. These hold up to 0.2 pounds. Um, there's nine of them. They're just these teeny tiny little removable hooks. Like the command hooks. And for these, somebody had taken like these little baskets, which I picked up four of them. And on the inside of their cupboard, they had different hooks. They had like the metal hooks, but I think these are still going to work because, um, well, they were the, but the little, they had the white back with like the little metal hook that kind of sticks out like at a V, which I might even have some of those. They didn't have any or would have got them, gotten them. Anyway, you put these little hooks on here, like one on each end, and then your little basket can just hang right inside. These might actually work better since they're flat. And this will just hang right inside your cupboard door. You can have your little dishwasher scrubby thing that like holds soap, a dish rag. What do they have in here? They have chip clips and paper clips in here. I thought like in the bathroom cupboard, the girls' is, um, loofahs could go in there just to get some things organized. So yeah, I picked up four of those and two packs of the little hooks. There is that. I also picked up, I have two of these already. I think I have a blue and a pink. They're the primary fork and spoon um, that snap together. There's been times like that we've been at restaurants and they only have like the big like soup spoon style spoon. And for little kids, like my kids always get corn. They like, love corn. It's usually one of the sides that one of them gets and they usually share it. So these are handy to keep in the diaper bags. It's, I mean, Jack's just turned one, Alex just turned three, Adri is eight. Um, so I just got a third set so they each have their own set that I can just keep in the diaper bag. They snap together um, like so. Let me just take this off real quick and show you. So yeah, it's just a fork and spoon. Keep them on the go. They literally, oh, fork goes underneath. They literally just snap inside of each other. So if you go somewhere or if you're out and about and you end up grabbing something and eating in your car and you need a fork and spoon, there you go. You have them. So this is just super handy. We've already used the other ones that I already have multiple times. Then you just wipe them off with your napkin or a wet wipe at the restaurant, throw them back in your diaper bag, bring them home, wash them, and you are good to go. Sorry, I'm trying to make some room over here. Next up in here, I was watching somebody, like I have a rug in there at my kitchen sink. It's been there forever, but it moves because it's on tile floor. And somebody, oh, it was Love Meg. They had rugs down in their, um, in their kitchen. Oh yeah, this is, okay. And it's double stick tape. So you just put like a little piece of double, double stick tape on the back of your rug, like on the four corners. They did like the whole length of their rug, which I'm not going to do that. But just on the four corners of your rug and it the one side sticks to your rug, one side sticks to the floor. So I'm hoping that will work for that. And like for a buck, excuse me, I'm sure we'll find all kinds of uses for double stick tape. Then I was just kind of browsing around. This guy stopped me to comment me on my compliment me on my sweatshirt I was wearing. And we literally stood there and he was talking to me for like 30 minutes. And then I went to check out the ladies, like, uh, I see you you uh found our store stalker. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, she's like, I'm so sorry about that. I hope you don't want to not ever come back. I'm like, well, nothing's going to stop me from that. I'm like, the guy's lonely. He just wants somebody to talk to. So we just sat there and talked. While I was going around the corner, I ran into the, the little display of the L.A. Color stuff. It's never with the makeup. It's never with the makeup. It's always at the back by toilet paper and tissues and stuff. Oh, maybe that's where I was heading is back there to get that. But anyways, it's the um, auto lip liner, twist up lip pencil. And I picked up four different colors. That's so funny because I almost got... Um, a lip liner from Unique and I didn't. I took it out of my cart and I forgot I had these anyways. So anyways, I picked up the four shades. This is like the lightest shade and it's called It's Perfect. So this is like a nude color. Then we have this pink one that's called, or the color name is Totally Pinkish. So it's a little pink one. Next we have Peachy Feels. And next up we have Bear With Me. Let's just check one out. Let's check this nude one out. Let's see what 
this is all about. I still have all, I want to try out the um, LA Colors. I bought the primers, like the color correcting primers. I, I haven't had a chance. I have not, not had the kids. So I haven't been able to do much of that type of stuff. So let's see here. Oh, that's definitely like a nude. A nude. Look at that. For a buck. Yes, please. So there's that one. Let's just try them all out, should we? I don't know. I like when I watch Dollar Tree videos and people like do swatches. I'm not going to swatch every single thing I bought, but we'll swatch these. A um, couple of lip liners. There's only four. Anyways, just so you can see what shades are. So if you need to make a toilet paper and disinfect it run to Dollar Tree, this is the pink one. These are a pretty fine point, too. There's the pink. That's a, those are both really pretty colors. This one is Peachy Fields. The pink one's almost like a, you know, my lips but better, you know? Because it's not like bright pink. Oh my gosh, come on. We don't have time for this right now. We have a video to film, okay? Oh my god, I can't get it out. Can't get it out of here. I'm really excited to do my to do my refrigerator. Is that weird? <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy decluttering and organizing. Oh my gosh! Come out of the package. Okay, this is what peachy feels. Is that what I said? And there's definitely a difference in color in these. Ooh, that one looks metallic. That's a metallic y peach. And then bear with me. Yeah, that peach one's definitely metallic. The other ones are just like a matte, like basic lip liner. Oh my God, come out. This packaging is crazy. Cool. These are all completely different shades. You can see the difference. And for $1, they might've been a darker one, but I did not get it. Next up, I picked up these. Did I even show you those? I don't think I did. In the packages next up they had these it says new la colors plump gloss instantly plumps lips tingling sensation so i picked up supreme and pinker supreme is like this peachy color and then pink is like a really light pink so we will just swatch these two. this is kind of stupid because i don't have a napkin or anything in here to wipe these off and I'll probably just, I'll just use my sweatshirt. <laughs> so this is the pink one. This is a plumping gloss. Ooh. That is pretty. This is like a nude, like a nudie pink. It's not super bright. It's just that light pink. Look how shiny that is. It has like some shimmer, but not like chunks of glitter. That is pretty. Ooh, now I want to see this one, the corally one. I'm ready for coral lips and nails and tans. So here's the coral one. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Oh my goodness. That one is super pigmented. Look how pretty that is. Super pigmented and super shiny. That is so pretty. One dollar, guys. Yes, if you're there stocking up on toilet paper and you need a little pick me up with some makeup, there you go. Okay, this I thought would be super fun. Down in the playroom, there is a plain wall by the table, like when you first walk in the playroom. And my kids are all about, like, mainly Adri. She's all about taking videos and taking selfies. These are really pretty. I'm probably too far away. 
But it's not even vanilla. Anyway, she's into like taking selfies and taking video. And I need a, sp a spot to try on like my Nadine West clothing. And that's like my empty spot. But I thought for summer um, that it would be fun to have this. Back into the hall. It is a photo backdrop. It's like you're on the beach with the ocean behind you and like a tiki thing and uh, tiki torches. So here's this. How cute would that be? So she can take selfies. It'll look like she's on the beach somewhere. I thought she would just think that was like the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, I'm already at 15 minutes from rambling. This is going to be like the world's longest Dollar Tree video. So yeah, I thought that would be super cute for pictures, selfies, videos, whatever. I also picked up some summery things for in the kitchen. Well, I picked up this gray, just a basic gray um, kitchen towel. It's just a basic gray towel, hand towel. I picked up two of the microfiber. Um, are these microfiber? I feel like they are. It doesn't say it on it, but I feel like, oh, well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Anyway, two summery towels. Hand towels, this one says stand tall with the nice colorful flamingo with the flowers in the background, pretty coral color. And then this one says wear a crown and be sweet and it has pineapples on there. I love fresh pineapple. If you pick a good one, it literally tastes like candy. I love fresh pineapple. So that is for the kitchen. And I also picked up these for the kitchen. It just says live your dream. So it's a hand towel. I also got the matching oven mitt. My one KitchenAid rubber made or KitchenAid oven mitt is like so, it's so worn. So there's that one. And then I picked up the little hot pads. What are they even called? Pot holders. Yeah, that's the word. They say the same thing. Live the dream, teal and white. Live your dream, not live the dream. Live your dream. So there's that. Also, to go with like summery type stuff, for my dining room table, I have um, some of these placemats that I've, I got them like years ago from Dollar Tree and they're a really light green. And I thought these would be pretty just to change it up. They're just these coral little placemats. They're super pretty. They almost look metallic just cause they're like, just the way that they're made. So yeah, I got these coral placemats. I'm like kind of keeping stuff in order over here as to what they go with. Hooks and baskets, double stick tape. Okay. Also for in the kitchen, I got another one of these um, dish drying mats. These come in so handy. Like I'm trying to stay caught up with dishes, but I mean, come on, let's be real. I'm never going to always be caught up with um, my dishes. There's always going to be dishes. Especially if I have big dishes like the crock pot or things like that that take up a lot of space. There's always going to be things that don't fit in my dish strainer. So, I already have two of these, like different prints. But I saw this print. Although was, this was the front of the store where they have like the seasonal stuff. With all the summery prints. And they had this one. How pretty is this? With the coral seashells and then like the coral on there and then the, the sand dollar and the starfish. This is so pretty. I was looking for towels and stuff in this print, like the little hand towels in this print, but they didn't have any. But they did have this drying mat. I think that is so pretty. I remember back in the fall, I think it was Nicole Burgess, she had one that had like the red and like the gold, it had the leaves on it, the fall leaves. And I looked and looked, like I went there like twice a week for a couple weeks and I never found it. Never found it. Also up in the summer section, they had these little headbands. They're just like for fun. They're mermaid headbands. So this one has like the mermaid tail with the little seashells. My girls love headbands. Well, Alex is just, she'll go in and wear Adri's headbands, but Adri's always been a headband person. And like now she's into like doing face mask and doing like a night routine with her friends on, um, on the phone, like they all three get on there and message together and do face masks. And I picked up this one. It's like, they're super cute. Just with little shells and mermaid tails. They're for fun. The kids are going through a lot. They don't understand a lot of what's going on. So mom is just 
trying to do little things here and there. Doing what I can. <laughs> so next up, my kids love fruit. They like they have fruit every single day, mainly strawberries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. They love their fruit. And I usually just have them get like a a paper bowl, like a regular size paper bowl, like the Dixie brand, yeah, whatever they are. You know what I'm talking about, just regular paper bowls. What is going on here? I mean, it's supposed to be kind of the side. Anyways, but a bowl is kind of big to just get like a couple of strawberries in. So they had these little cups. And are these the same or different? Hmm, I thought these were the same pattern, but they're different. This one says sunshine on my mind and it has a bunch of little fruit on it. And I grabbed this one. I thought it was the same print, but it's not. This one's just fruit with, unless it's just a mess up that this doesn't have the words on it. Cause that's the same freaking print. Is it not? Oh no, it's not. Cause this one doesn't, one has oranges, one doesn't. Anyway, so that one has a bunch of fruit. This one is a bunch of little, like the little mason jars with straws with like pink lemonade, punch, lemonade, those types of things on it. And then these just have flamingos on them. So that these would be cute and perfect for if they want to take a little snack outside. I don't have to worry about leaving dishes outside. They're not using full size bowls. So I just got those little paper cups. And also to go along those lines with those little patterns. Come on bag. I picked up these little cups with straws. I picked up this one for myself because it's teal. It has a little crab and a sand dollar on it. They have the lid and the straw. They're plastic like mason jar things. Just like on this little, on this little cup, the little mason jar, things with the straw. And then I picked up these two. One of them is flamingos and one of them just has fruit. So yeah, we can each have our own little cup. And my kids love to have like juice and juice boxes and like the Kool-Aid, like Kool-Aid squeezy things. But the other day I'm like, you know what? That's just, I pay a dollar for six of those things. I can get, buy a packet of Kool-Aid for, what was it? 24 cents, 27 cents. And just make a whole pitcher of Kool-Aid and like save money. So I bought like six little packets of Kool-Aid and now we have those things. I think I have a pitcher. I'm pretty sure I have a pitcher. And yeah, I'll start making them Kool-Aid. I also, one of the reasons I went to I need to go to Dollar Tree was I needed some minced garlic and that's where I get it from because I don't need a huge jar. This is perfect. And it's $1 for eight ounces of minced garlic. I do not want that to get dropped or broken. The other week I dropped a whole big jar of the whole um, dill pickles, baby dill pickles, it, right in front of the fridge and it just shattered everywhere. My floors are cement, this whole house is cement, even the walls, so it's a cement house. Um, and it, it went everywhere. It shattered from the dining area, clear over to the baker's rack that are complete ends of this whole section of the house. And I don't want to drop anything else. So now I'm like, whenever I pick up a glass jar, I'm super nervous about it. <laughs> I also picked up some pizza Pringles. The girls like those. So I picked those up for them. Let's see. A couple of these bags are out of reach. So this next bag, I buy paper plates and paper bowls at Sam's, just like the basic ones. And I thought, Oh, last time I was at Dollar Tree when I got Jax's stuff, I was over in the party section and they had paper plates and napkins and like the little paper plates and they were mermaid print. They're like purple and pink. And is it just purple and pink? And the girls like thought that was like the coolest thing ever. So when I was up there by the little cups in the front, I was like, I'll just get some fun little plates too for like summertime. So this is a 12 pack of flamingo plates and a 12 pack of plates that have their fruit on them. So they can have their sandwiches and whatever on those. And I got flamingo napkins to match the flamingo plates. They didn't have any fruit ones to match those. So I just got this 18 pack of pink with polka dots um, napkins to go with that. 
And then we are cleaning Adri's room and going through and sorting out like everything into bins, tubs, bags, whatever, because it's just a crazy mess. And I could use a few makeup bags myself for some things. So up at the front of the store where I always find all the good stuff, they had all these different zipper pouches. First off, how cute is this one with the little kitty cats on it? And they had matching notebooks. So Adriana is getting a pencil pouch and a matching notebook for sure for up in her room. She doesn't need them by any means, but it was super cute. And then they had these other pouches. I thought I could give this one with hearts on it to Alex because she has like her own pins and crowns and stuff for when she wants to color. So this one, these are like the vinyl-y ones. So this one has hearts on it. Then they had these that are all like just cloth. So this one says peace out and it has a piece of pizza. I couldn't decide. I didn't even get them all, but I got quite a few of them. I couldn't decide. <sighs> This one says, this is how we roll, which I need to clean out my car too. I need a couple pouches for my car to keep things situated in my car and also in the diaper bag and also in my um, purse I take when I don't have the kids with me. So I need, I actually need a handful of these anyways. So this is, this is how we roll with a uh, sushi on it. This one says, I know I'm extra with an avocado. How cute is that? This one says, talk over the world, instead of take over the world, talk over the world, the taco, I said tacos today. This one says, life is all rainbows and unicorns. I think Adri will love that. This one says, always look up, and it has a rainbow with clouds. Like I said, these are just the, they're not cloth, but they're not the real hard nylon. These like the... I don't know what you call them. It just says cosmetic bag. And then this one just has a bunch of rainbows on it. When I was a kid, I loved Rainbow Bright. Like, Rainbow Bright and the little sprites. Like, I loved Rainbow Bright. And whenever I see rainbows, I don't know if that's what it is. It just takes me back to being a kid. I don't know. But something about rainbows, I don't care how old I get, I'm always going to love, like, rainbows and that type of stuff. Then, up at the register, they had these. They're called Mini Boos Collectibles. And it says hand-painted. So they're these little, it says series three, collect them, trade them. So this is what the back looks like. It has all these little, little figures. So I got one for each girl. I'll we'll have to see what that's all about. Then I saw these. It's so funny because I was, yesterday I was thinking to myself, you know, like, I was like, you know, my eyes have been driving me nuts from my allergies. I'm really going to literally put cucumber slices on my eyes to help cool my eyes down. And while I was at Dollar Tree, they had these. They're the hot, cold iPads. Um, and these have pineapples on them. So I will keep these in the fridge. And when I'm having allergy issues, I'm just going to set these on my eyes nice and cold. Cucumber slices work amazing. I just put them on my eyes all the time. But look, little eye, eye patches, iPads, whatever you want to call them, that go in the fridge. And then I picked up just like some little treats. I picked up some Ike and Ikes. Mike and Ike's, the, uh, what is this one? Mega Mix and then Tropical Typhoon. Mega Mix has Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, Kiwi Banana, Mango Delight, Watermelon, Pineapple Banana, Peach Berry, and Blue Raspberry. And then the Tropical Typhoon has Kiwi Banana, Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, and Mango. I also picked up two boxes of hot tamales. The last time I was up at the hospital with one of my children for um, an ER visit. Was it the last time? No, the last time I was there with Jax when he had strep throat. The time before that, I was up there. They've all been to the ER this year. What was... Um, Adrian had influenza B. They all got put on, well, Jackson, but the girls got put on IV fluid because they were dehydrated. They were just really sick. That was at the beginning of the year. Whichever time it was, I had hot tamales in my backpack, and they, like, hit the spot because it wasn't, like, something super sweet, super filling or anything like that, nothing heavy. Just while you're sitting up there for hours, I could just snack on some cinnamon candy. It wasn't real obvious that I was eating anything, so they didn't want anything. And I always love a good cinnamon candy. I don't like things that are, like, super hot cinnamon, but I love those. 
I also picked up one of these for each of the girls. So I got Adri some Ferreros, Ferrero Rocher. And I got Allie just a box of M&M's. She loves M&M's. And I picked these up for myself. 24 Fruit Chews. They're the Mamba. Oh, Megan. Megan Navarro. Was it her video that she got these and she was like eating them in the store? Oh my gosh, that was been forever ago. So I picked that up for myself. And I saw these. It says 18 pieces pucker powder. Blue raspberry, green apple, and wild cherry. So they're little tiny pouches of sour powder. Like we all love Pixie Sticks. We love sour gummy candy. So we're going to try these out. Some sour packs. I've never even seen those before. Also at the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh. I hope you got a snack. I warned you. I told you. Get a snack. They had these, the actual Rubbermaid take-alongs with the teal lid. It's a two-pack, so it's two of the deep square. These are, like, perfect for big old salads. You can put the lid on and then just kind of shake them up, which I've been on a Caesar salad kick lately. So it's two of the square containers and two of the teal lids for $1. Like, you can get the Rubbermaid take-alongs at Walmart, but I'm pretty sure they're not $1 for a two-pack. I don't know. Do I need Tupperware? Absolutely not. But they had them. They were teal. Perfect size for salads. So I got them. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. <laughs> I love that song. Next up in here, I have a box of the chicken crackers. Uh, we haven't had those in a while. I got the vegetable ones to try a while back, and I don't think we've even tried those yet. I know we love the chicken ones. Like, we sat down and ate a whole box of those in one day. Yeah, there's a I was going to say, I thought I got two boxes. I did. Because they're not very big boxes, but they're delicious. So some chicken crackers for a little snack. My girls absolutely love these. They are the white cheddar popcorners. They will sit down and share a bag, like, and it'll be gone within no time. Come on now, stop it. Sorry, my computer just went into sleep mode. I don't want that. So yeah, I picked up two bags of those for my girls. I picked up this for myself. Just a Reese's, uh, or Reese, uh, Rice Krispie Treat. So that's for me. That's for mommy. They also had these, all like all of their Easter candy. What were these, like 25 cents? Where's my receipt? Because I don't know. All the Easter stuff was super cheap. Yeah, 25 cents. So they have these cute little candy bars. They're just milk chocolate. It says, Happy Easter. And look how cute these little tiny chocolate bars are. When my kids want a chocolate, instead of eating like a full-size bar, they can have one of these, these little mini milk chocolate bars. So I got us each a pack. I will be eating mine dipped in peanut butter because I love milk chocolate. I buy the plain Hershey bars and dip them in chocolate. So we each got a pack of those. I also picked up some stickers. Me and Adri, we need to get back into doing our calendars. We love doing our calendars, and we haven't done them in a while. So this one is a bunch of hearts. These are puffy. They're puffy molded stickers. So this one is a bunch of puffy hearts. Super cute. And then we have this one that's all the kitty cats that are on her little notebook and pencil pouch that I got her. I always go insane, like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you have so much stuff, but I'm always picking stuff up for her. I can't help it. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in forever. I haven't gotten them anything in a long time. They all still have birthday money. Adri's birthday was January 31st. Alex was with Valentine's Day. And they still have all of their birthday cards with their money they got for their birthday on the mantle, just waiting to be able to go spend their birthday money because they were both sick at their birthdays. <laughs> Everything was crazy. Then this whole thing started, like, it's just been nuts. So when we're able to go out and about, they have birthday money to go shopping with. And then I got these. Look how cute these are. These unicorns. And Alex loves stickers too. She'll come up and just stick them on me and then take them off and say, oh, boo-boo gone. Like she's, like it's a band-aid and she's fixing my boo-boo. And I bought this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's just an over-the-door hook. I thought about putting it underneath the one side of the... Um, Bathroom cupboard, I don't know because the hook's so big, but maybe I could find a way to bend it and make it so it's not so big. I don't know. It might work. It might not. Anyway, there's two hooks. I thought the girls could hang their loofahs on those if they don't fit in those baskets, which those baskets might not 
the loofahs might not sit in them very well, but on here they could hang because the loofahs have like the little string on them. So I got a hook for that. Now, what do we have next bag? We're down to the last two bags, guys. So, oh, only one thing here. I have these all over. There's one that's on top of the fridge with Adri's school supplies because she's doing school at home. So it has like her scissors, her glue, her glue sticks, highlighters, pencils, markers, crayons, everything she needs to do her schoolwork. But I have never seen black ones. This black one looks like super like sleek. I need to organize some stuff downstairs. Yeah. I love this black one. And also along the lines of the black. Oh wait, I also grabbed this little pack of baskets because I didn't know if this would work with those little hooks. Somehow like the basket wouldn't be, I don't even know what the hooks are. I mean, they would hang by the handle or get different hooks. And like this could kind of hang at an angle in the, um, under the sink. This house, is like half the size of the house we moved from. So I'm trying, like we're decluttering a bunch of stuff and getting rid of a bunch of stuff, but the things that we're keeping, like we need to just get more organized because stuff's just not very organized. So this little three pack of baskets for $1. And it has the holes, the so things could air out. I wish suction cups would fit, or stay on the shower wall because then these could just like, they could have their own basket on their shower, hanging on the shower wall. Oh wait, I saw somebody, I forgot they had a, um, like a tension rod along the top in the shower with like the little S hooks on them and they hung these baskets on them and had like their little things in there that when you want them, you just take them down so they can always stay in the shower and um, dry. Ooh, and I think I have a broken shower rod that could just sit up there on the top of the shower. Like one that the tension thing is not right on. Yes, I completely forgot about that. And then I saw they had these little baskets, which I said, I'm cleaning out the fridge. These might actually work. Like apples, I don't know, I want to use my clear storage bins though. I haven't quite figured out how I'm doing it. But I got a black and a white because I always need baskets for things. And like I said, the black is just awesome. I have one of these downstairs that's white. It has like the little eight ounce waters in it on the pantry shelves. So that, hey, now we have a black one that they can have their other drinks in or Capri Suns that are like in boxes that we just need to drink up and then move on to... But Kool-Aid used so much sugar with Kool-Aid. I could put less sugar in it. Like I use a splash of juice in Alex's cup and then fill the rest of it with water. Adri likes the, and Alex likes juice boxes. Adri usually drinks milk or like the Gatorades. I don't know. But we like variety too. We don't just wanna drink the same thing all the time. Anyway, those are the baskets that I got for that. So now I'm just like rambling on, losing my train of thought. I'm actually getting tired. It's not even nine o'clock and I actually slept good last night. Well, I went to bed like after 2 a.m. and woke up around 10 a.m. I mean, that's still more sleep than I've gotten in a long time. And I woke up feeling like I, got, like I got really good sleep, but now I'm just like getting tired. Probably I'm just sitting here talking nonstop. I've just filmed a couple videos. So anyway, that's everything I picked up at Dollar Tree uh, along with toilet paper that's in the bathroom. What else did I get? Did I get a disinfectant uh, liquid that you, to make up buckets of cleaner? I don't remember. There's something else that I got that I couldn't find at Walmart or Meyer when I was getting groceries. Like I said, you cannot find toilet paper anywhere here. What the heck did I get? I'm not going through 80 items on my uh, receipt to figure it out either. <laughs> so anyways, I thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be doing a Dollar Tree haul again for a long time because we're, just, we're in quarantine. We can't go out shopping unless it's things we need and now I don't really need anything. So yeah. It was fun. It was kind of fun to do a Dollar Tree haul again because it's been so long since I've done one. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this self-care Saturday and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.